Well, a few weeks ago, Nine on Your Side's Andrew Christensen told you about some students at the U of A who are partnering with the city of Tucson to help clear more than 10,000 marijuana records. And while they're still in the planning process with the city, he followed up with those same students who held an expungement clinic on campus today. Hi, I was wondering uh, if it's I a moment my, uh, Cesar Romo has been waiting for for almost half a century uh, since 76 getting his marijuana record expunged. Okay, yeah, yeah. And as a substitute teacher at a local middle school, I recently had to update my teaching certificate and get a fingerprints clearance card and uh, it came up. It could be easy to forget his record even existed. But after all this time, I thought it would be gone, but no, it was there. So I figured if I can expunge it, it wouldn't be a bad thing. For about a year now, it's just the one charge. Students Mia Bertram and Rebecca Carroll Cohen helping people like Romo expunge their records. So it's a great feeling when someone walks out with a cleared record. Um, it can be pretty life changing. And if someone needs help, There's they look up like their that. disposition dates, which they say should be available through public access mm -hmm. court records. Yes. But like Romo, sometimes the charge is from a long time ago. And it might not be in a computer system. We really hope when people come in that we'll be able to get them out the door with a completed petition. And so we aren't able to do that, uh, which is frustrating. But there are options. Carol Cohen saying people can contact the court directly and ask for a record search. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate and after all these years, a good one. Thanks. Thank you. It's students like Carol Cohen and Bertram helping Romo rebuild his life. I think it's good. They're, they're putting their practice to work. I'm a teacher, you know, you got to teach. Now, as for how long it takes to find out whether someone got their record expunged, law students tell me typically about one to two months. They say if someone's not able to make it to one of their clinics, they can go on azexpunge.org to sign up. We'll have that link on our website, kega9.com. Reporting at the University of Arizona, Andrew Christensen, Kega9 on your side. And those law students tell us they are planning another free clinic on March 25th at the university's law school. They say if someone does not, uh, someone got denied for an expungement. They do work with a coalition that provides free legal help.